Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Mario Kart 7 playthrough. Uh, this weekend, now that we've uh, finished all of the Grand Prix Cups, it's time to uh, go back through the list again, but this time in mirror mode, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get this started. Um, I have made a little more progress in terms of uh, three-star progression. Uh, not much. I think I've only gotten three stars on like two extra cups, but... Uh, some progress is still progress. Um, as far as mirror mode is concerned, I actually don't have any three stars whatsoever, so I'm kind of hoping that maybe uh, this playthrough will kind of change that. But uh, mirror mode, as far as I know, it's probably the hardest to actually get three stars on. Not that I think the times really increase by any means. I think it's... And it's something I'm going to get into a little bit later about how mirror mode, even though it's supposed to be the same difficulty as 150cc... Uh, there is a little bit of a kind of a mental lapse that happens when you do mirror mode because you're so used to how the courses run on 150 that because of that you t tend to perform worse on mirror mode just because you're not used to the mirrored courses. That's just me though, that's just me. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this started. I'm uh, going to be moving, moving on to the uh, hidden characters as well. I think I'm also going to be working backwards because like in the first time I did this I did the... Uh, you know, I did the Nitro course, then the Retro course. I think now I'll do the Nitro course, or now I'll do the Retro course, and then the Nitro course. So, we're going to be starting with uh, Shell Cup first. And as far as character, I'm going to use the character you actually get from uh, Shell Cup uh, when you get first place on 150cc. Uh, you unlock Shy Guy, so I'm going to be using him first, then we'll move on to the Mushroom Cup where I'll use Daisy. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get this started. As far as vehicles are concerned, um, I, got, I gotta save the Bumble uh, 5, or the Bumble V, for the uh, character that would definitely be appropriate for. Uh, let's use... Hmm. You know what? We'll use the birthday girl. <laughs> I don't know why. We're just gonna use the birthday girl. Hmm. I want speedy tires for sure. Let's go with the red monster. Or Yeah, we'll go with the red monster tires, I guess. And I gotta stick with the swooper glider. It's still my favorite. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into uh, Shell Cup here. I'm also gonna try to let these uh, movies play out in the beginning here. Someone actually requested that I show off these movies instead of just pressing the A button. That was originally my intent to actually show all these uh, videos the first time through the game. But, uh, you know, force of habit. After I've seen these before, it's kind of hard for me to be patient, so I just mash the A button so I can get to the race and get things started. I'll try to actually show them off, though, this next time. Uh, but yeah, we're on the mirror mode, as mirror mode tends to always be all the courses are essentially mirrored. Uh, so, normally when you'd start this track, you'd go left, or the first turn would be a left turn, but the first turn is now a right turn. Uh, it's still essentially the same track. You still go through all the normal progression events as you normally would. It's just that it's mirrored, so it's like you're playing this game while looking into a mirror. That's pretty much what this is. See, I'll take this little shortcut right here, just because we haven't taken it yet. It's also a good way to get coins, because you get, like, eight free coins without really even doing anything. I'm still pretty far behind, though, all things considered. That's okay, though. We'll make it. Whoop. Oh, screw you, Lakitu. <laughs> I had to make sure that was Lakitu, but yeah, it was. Lakitu just decided, hey, I'm going to throw this fireball right back at you. Hope you enjoy it. I swear, the computers are a lot more, um, they're jerks, <laughs> basically, is what I'm getting at. They're more jerks in this game than I thought they were, initially. I mean, not that I thought, like, the AI was, like, super easy or anything, but, because even on the hardest difficulty, you're going to get pelted with items a lot, but, I don't know, I, I don't remember them being this aggressive, I just remember the, uh, the hard part about this game is actually getting the three-star requirements because they're very, very strict. And I've been talking a lot to a lot of people, like in the comments sections of these videos, 
and also even on Twitter when I've had a couple of rants about like the whole three star process. And as far as I know, like it's not entirely clear all that needs to occur to get like a perfect three star rank. Like obviously you need to get first in every track. That's pretty much like a definite requirement no matter what. But it also has to do with like how fast you finish each of the courses. And I think it also just has to do with like, you know, staying on the road for most of the time without like, you know, driving off road. And it also depends on like how many like turbo boosts you do, like whenever you're making turns and stuff of that nature. There's a lot of things that go into the consideration whether or not you get three stars. So if you just like play it safe and just like barely grab first place in every race, you're probably not going to get it. I think I even heard someone say that, like, you have to pretty much spend an entire lap in first place in, like, every race to even be considered a three-star, which I guess would make sense. But still, that's just, like, that's really difficult because who's to say you're even going to be in first place? Like, you can get first place, get blue shelled, then lightning, then hit with a bunch of other shells you can't avoid. And, like, you may not even have a chance to be in first place for an entire race, or for an entire lap. So it's like, I don't know, it's hard to say. Like, the fact that they would program something of that difficulty into this. And, I mean, it's it's not really a big deal. You don't unlock anything major for it. You just get, like, three stars on your file, which is, like, uh, not, not many people really even care about that. I also feel like I just skipped past the intro movie, so again, my apologies. See, again, it's force of habit. When I want to keep moving, I just press the A button instinctively and don't think about it, so am I done? I'll try to remember for the next one. But yeah, like, three star is, like, not something you have to do by any means, so it's really not even that big of a deal. It's just kind of saying, well, I perfected the game to this degree. I guess you could say, but, like, you don't have to. You still unlock everything without doing that. It's just kind of one of those things, like, if you really, really do love and enjoy this game, you can spend your time doing that, I suppose, but, eh. I have other games I want to play, other challenges I want to embark on, so that's not really my thing. I really wanted to do it for Mario Kart Wii back in the day, but apparently Mario Kart Wii is like the hardest game to three-star. And people have been reminding me of that fact. <laughs> I swear, whenever I talk about the three-stars for Mario Kart 7 being hard, like everyone always responds instinctively, well, at least it's uh, not as hard as Mario Kart Wii, which, you know, uh, I haven't played like Mario Kart Wii as intensely as I did back in the day when it first came out. And, like, back then, I was able to get, like, almost all three stars, except in, like, I think two cups. So I was pretty close to getting, like, three stars on everything. I never did, but I, I was getting pretty close to it, at the very least. So I don't know. But I played that game a lot, so it may have not seemed like that big of a concern for me, because I was always trying to unlock stuff. And always trying to, like, improve all my stats in that game. In general, though, just like, uh, again, I've said it before and I'll say it again, the three-star system works the best in like, Mario Kart 8. I feel like that was when they finally got the three-star system right, because all you need to do in Mario Kart 8 is just get first place on every track. Once you do that, you get your three-star. That's it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to worry about getting items screwed. If you manage to just barely sneak by with a victory, it's good. That's the way I think it should have been done from the very beginning. That's just my opinion, but apparently the Mario Kart developers had other ideas, so they, they made it this way for a reason. I wouldn't say it's a good reason, but it's a reason nonetheless, I suppose. Oh, come on! And see, like, see, like, things like that. That's why I say, like, it's a really tall order to be able to stay an entire lap in first place. Because stuff like that always happens. As long as I beat Lakitu, I should be fine. Theoretically, I'd like to get first place here too, but... 
I'd also like to win $500,000, and that's probably never going to happen anytime soon, so... <laughs> you take the victories when you can get them. <laughs> no matter how small or how uh, little they may seem. I see a blue shell. I'm going to quit. That was close. I did not like that. <laughs> I saw... Oh my god. I saw a blue shell, then I saw a bomb almost hit me. That was too close for comfort, but I'm glad I at least got the first place. That's all that matters to me. Uh, but yeah, you want you want to talk about really hard like three star requirements? Um, Mario Kart Super Circuit. I feel like a lot of people forget about that. I didn't even know there were star like rankings for that game until like until I did my Let's Play and I got a star ranking. And it's like, oh, okay, there are star rankings for this game. And, like, before that, like, you know, I always got just, like, B and A ranks, so I just thought, oh, okay, maybe A is the highest in this game. No, there's a star ranking still. <laughs> and it's, oh my god, it's near impossible in that game. Like, everything has to be flawless, and it's flawless in, like, every single way. I just don't see how that can happen. Like, you can definitely be a good Mario Kart player. You can be a skillful Mario Kart player. You can... You can withstand the storm of items being tossed at you non-stop and still play the game very well. But, you know, it, it can't really demand perfection by any means. Because, uh, you know, at some point there's going to be a blue shell, and that was a case of mirror mode screwing me up right there. <laughs> it's like I said, like, that, that's just the way mirror mode is. Like, there's going to be times where you start instinctively turning in one direction just to find out, oh wait, it's mirror mode. The turn doesn't go that way. I kind of do like mirror mode in the like DS games though, like Mario Kart 7 and Mario Kart DS, because at least you have the bottom screen, so like you can at least kind of take like a double take and say, okay, the turn is going this way, before you like make the turn say, okay, I need to go left here, not right here. See, I almost did it again. <laughs> we Oh, shoot. Lakitu does not want me to win this. <laughs> he does not. I mean, that's fair. I mean, he, he wants to win just like anybody else. I mean, I can't really fault him for that. Okay. There's another red shell. Holy crap. Can I still get first place here? I might be able to. If I take this turn right... <laughs> nah. Oh, well, that's okay. I'm still going to get first place overall. It's not even going to be a tie because he got third place in the last race. Still, though, I had a nice rivalry with uh, Lakitu there. That was kind of the cool rivalry we had. I got first, and he got first, and I got first, and he got first. It's just a shame that for the second time I got first, he got third. But uh, those are the breaks, Lakitu. Those are the breaks. Also, look at this... Uh, Look at this goon squad in the top three here. We have a Koopa Troopa, a Shy Guy, and a Lakitu. <laughs> like, all basic enemies in Mario. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. Still, two stars. I think if I would have gotten first place in uh, those other two tracks, this probably would have been a three star easily, but yeah, what more can you do? Also, uh, one thing I didn't really mention, and it's something I probably should have mentioned, uh, Shy Guy might seem like an odd choice for a racer, but to be honest, Shy Guy was actually a playable character before in Mario Kart. It was a very distinct uh, character, playable character role. But in Mario Kart DS, whenever you did the uh, local play or download play, I think it was download play, uh, Shy Guy was actually the character you played as. And Shy Guy wasn't a character in Mario Kart DS. He was just a download play only character. So it's kind of cool how they brought him back for this game. 
I kind of like that. I never really mentioned that in uh, the Mario Kart DS project. I don't think I did anyway, so... Felt like it was something to mention. But we're going to go ahead and move on to Daisy now. Uh, what is Daisy going to ride? Um, Daisy needs a... You know what? Daisy has a uh, boat, so we're going to go with the Tiny Tug. As far as wheels... Um, you know, you know, I, I do have these gold tires. I should talk about the gold tires and the gold parts in general because uh, those are things you can unlock. I just haven't really uh, gone into detail about them yet. Um, you know what? Let's go with the slick tires. I feel like boats would be very slick on the road. So uh, we'll go with that. So yeah, we're going to go with the mushroom cup. Gonna go with the mushroom cup, the mushroom cup, the mushroom cup. I don't know why I started singing the Muffin Man song. But <laughs> just, just roll with it. Go with it for right now. <laughs> I think we already saw that Toad movie, but whatever. It's not a big deal if I don't show all the movies, I suppose. I mean, we see the tracks as I'm going through them, so... We're not missing anything we're not going to see or anything like that. But they are nice little, cool little cinematic views of the races, which is why I feel a little bad that we didn't show them all. Boom. What if Daisy just, like, drove the Daisy Cruiser, like... The actual course through another course. They'd just be taking up the whole road and... <laughs> that would be funny. We might actually unlock a, uh, another course, or another part, part, by the way. Because last time I checked my coin count, I was getting close to 3,500, so... It'll either happen after this uh, GP or after the next one. But we'll have a new cart piece. It's a shame I probably won't unlock all of them. I tried to play this game enough beforehand, uh, before I started this project, just so I could get a feel for the controls again. And I was kind of hoping, well, maybe I can play this game enough and get all the cart pieces and everything. I don't see that happening, though. It just takes a long time to grind up all those pieces, and, you know, after a while, it's, you know, if there's a game that, like, I mean, I don't hate this game. This game's fine. Like, it's not a bad game by any means. But it's also a game that, like, I don't really feel like playing, like, nonstop just to unlock everything. Especially when, you know, when, it, when you break it down, once you have a cart combination that works for you, you probably want to stick with that cart combination. So because of that, I don't feel like as um, invested in unlocking everything. I feel like Mario Kart 8 was the same way. It's like once I found my perfect combination that worked for me, it's like, well, it's cool I'm getting all these cart pieces and everything, but I'm probably not going to use them all by any means. I almost got the Lucky 7 right there. I actually haven't seen that yet. Not that, I, not, not that I'm going to say that like I've been doing like this project extremely well to the point where I haven't needed the Lucky 7. But, like, you know, I've been in first for a majority of this Let's Play. So because of that, like, Lucky 7's not an item you see in first place, if at all, in first place. The chances are generally low that you might see it. Maybe if I do some like online videos, we'll see it because I'll actually be playing against people who are actually good at this game. Unlike me, who's only good against AI sometimes. You know what, let's bomb Peach. Yay, we bomb Peach. The world has been saved. <laughs> I 
I still think it's funny that um, in the video where I used Peach in this project, people were like, wow, using Peach in the second video, Slim Kirby's come a long way. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I, I really enjoyed that comment. Again, I said it before, like, it was a gag for Super Mario Kart, but it was a funny gag. Like, I enjoyed that because that was kind of around the time where it's like, people were almost, like, telling me to use Peach. Like, it's like, use Peach or I'll unsubscribe to you. And it's just like, it's ridiculous. Well, why does it matter who I use? Like, it doesn't matter. It's a freaking playable character. They all pretty much act the same. Maybe slight stat modifications here and there, but nothing major. And honestly, with Mario Kart, like, I don't think it makes that much of a deal, because I think Peach is probably, like, especially in those early games where the character choice did actually matter a lot more. I do think Peach is one of the better characters in the old Mario Kart games, so... I never really had a problem with her there, I just hate her in Mario Party, because whenever she's an AI, she screws me over. It, it was just funny how bent out of shape people got whenever I didn't pick Peach. Like, it's comical. Like, this doesn't affect you whatsoever. Like, my character choice does not affect you. Your health does not deteriorate based on which character I choose to play as in Mario games. Ag, no. You can kind of get a nice little jump to stop those clams if you want to use that. I was getting scared I was going to land on that banana for you. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can skip over a lot of this. Ah, crap. Thankfully, I have a... Okay, so looking good so far. I believe that's uh, three first places, so we have a chance at a three-star. I feel like I kind of fell too far behind, though, in this track, so we'll see. Or in this cup. Well, in this track, too, actually, because I think I was in fifth place at one point. So we'll see uh, how hard that uh, little blemish will strike my ranking here. I feel pretty good about Shy Guy Bazaar, though I feel like this is one of the tracks I'm better at. Oh, come on. Stop grabbing all my coins! I needed to unlock the, uh... I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what parts I still have to unlock in this game, honestly. I know there's, like, one glider, and I think that glider is, like, always the last, like, standard part you'll unlock. Like, I think it's called, like, the Beast Glider or something. Something to that effect. It's a, it's a cool name for a glider, and I know I don't have it yet. Yeah, this is a very, very bad first lap. I thought I said, oh, I always do really good at this course, and then I'm just, like, sucking now. 
one Kirby gameplay in a nutshell. What I need to say is that I suck at every course I do, and then when I do that, I do it perfectly right after. Was that the same Bob on that got thrown earlier? I think it was, holy crap. Oh my god, I am just like hitting everything. And yeah, I think like whenever you hit a wall, like that also decreases your possibility of getting 3 star. Like you literally have to be like not racing like an idiot pretty much. It's like anything that looks sloppy whenever you do this is like no bueno. And see, like even when I'm in fourth or third place, I'm still getting pelted with items. So it's like this game does not want me to catch up. On, I'm in fifth place. <laughs> uh, and I'm just getting mushrooms. Like I'm not even getting like a blue shell or anything. Oh come on! <laughs> oh jeez. This is like the ending right here. So yeah, there's no way I'm gonna catch up now. Starman, yeah, like that's gonna do anything at this point. Oh. Never mind. I have no words for that track. I have no words. <laughs> that made no sense how I got first place there. That made no sense. <laughs> There's like that's gonna be a two star just because of that last track. That last track was terrible. Yeah, see, I figured. Well, <laughs> we did get a perfect at the very least, but ugh, that was the just <laughs> that's a shy guy bizarre track. I have no words for how that even went. No words at all. So I think I'll just end the video then. <laughs> I think we'll just end it here. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for uh, Banana Cup and Flower Cup. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.